Hi guys, Steve Blanker here again. Hey, I'm out at the range today and I'm here to test a single cartridge. This is a 5652 Spencer cartridge that I've uh, reloaded and we're going to test it today in my Remington split breech carbine. Now a little, just a little background, the 5652 Spencer uh, was designed by Christopher Spencer uh, after Springfield Armory developed the 5650 in 1864. Uh, Spencer didn't really like the way they designed that cartridge, so he made his own version of it. Um, and it just has a slight bottleneck to it and a heel bullet. Um, and the case is a little shorter than the 5650, but it holds the same amount of powder and the bullet weight is very similar. Uh, and the cartridges are completely interchangeable. So this is a... 5652 made by the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, probably about 18, in the 1870s period. It is, a, it is a copper case, rim fire, and it's loaded with 45 grains of 2F Swiss powder. Uh, I've cleaned out this case, I've reprimed it, and I've made a modified a Smith carbine bullet to, to fit. And uh, so we're going to test fire today. Now, actually, I did test fire this the other day one time, and... Um, it worked, but I didn't get a chance to chronograph it. So today I'm out here at the range and I've got the chronograph set up. So I'm hoping I can capture chronograph data on this and, uh, uh, you know, see how it works. So, so let's give it a shot here. So put my protective gear on. Let's turn the chronograph on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, very good. And chronograph shows 1,030 feet per second. So that's pretty good. Now I have read that the uh, when Springfield Armory developed the 5650, which again is very, very similar, they had... Uh, of course, a very primitive chronograph at the time, but they chronographed the 5650 at 900 feet per second from a carbine and 1,000 feet per second from uh, from a rifle. Now, I've just got just a little over 1,000 out of this carbine. So, uh, again, this is premium powder, though, too. This is Swiss 2F. Um, so they were using government, uh, government powder, which may not have been quite as energetic as, as this Swiss. But I'm very pleased to see it fired. I got good velocity and uh, it works. So not bad for a 170, I'm sorry, 150 year old cartridge case uh, that's been reloaded twice now. And you know, I've got a couple dimples on it from this firing pin and, uh, but I'm gonna be able to reload this a couple more times and, um, and keep shooting it. So, so great fun. So it's nice to uh, be able to recreate a little bit of history here and uh, using an original rimfire cartridge case and being able to shoot this old gun again with the original type ammunition so thanks for watching if you like what you saw please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel see you later bye